Do you miss Breaking Bad? Uh, surprisingly, I don't. You don't? No. Okay. Uh, and I think the reason is, is because Vince Gilligan crafted just what I think is the perfect beginning, middle, and end to a story. So because it was so complete, I had a total whoosh, completion. It wasn't like, oh, God, I wish we can continue to mm. finish our story. I don't have that feeling. It would be almost like if you had the perfect dinner with your wife, you're out, you have a great the, the aperitif and the meal, a fantastic, mm -hmm. finish it off with a little dessert and a little espresso maybe. Oh, fantastic. And someone brought out, here, here's another entree. And you go, I, I really, <laughs> and if you did, it's like, God, I wish I didn't have that other, mm -hmm. it's too much. And I, like a proud athlete who leaves the game, maybe with a little left in their tank, it's, that's better than to go, I'm totally empty, I should have quit last year. And same with a, with a show. I, I want people to miss it, and I'm glad that they do. But I don't want the feeling uh, of fans to go, like with some shows, is mm -hmm. that still on? Oh, God. You know, it just kind of goes and goes and goes, and you're repeating storylines. And and again, you're 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 doing such great work after that show too. The Infiltrator, as we mentioned, is in July 13 theaters near you. That all that said, there is a show currently, Better Call Saul, yeah. that is on the air right now. That is a prequel yeah. that would allow just just to hear me out here would allow for the exploration of a part of the Walter White character that perhaps wasn't explored before. Oh my God, that's insane. <laughs> Where did you come up with this idea? So would something like that you be know, of interest to you? Here's the thing. Yes. Uh, I owe Vince Gilligan so much. He was my champion to get this role. I was the guy coming off Malcolm in the Middle, seven years of playing this really kind of silly, hapless dad, and he said, He's my guy. This is the guy I want. And I don't think without that, without the the creator of the show having that much uh, insistence that it, it, it might not have happened. So um, Peter Gould and, and Vince Gilligan now run Better Call Saul, which I think is a terrific show. Mm -hmm. And I know nothing about it mm -hmm. other than like any other fan. I don't want to hear anything about it. Mm -hmm. I want to watch it when it comes out sure. and I'm tuned in. But if they were to call me and say, we have this idea, we'd like, I would say yes. Before, you don't have to finish the pitch. I'm there. What do you want me to do? I would do whatever they want because I know how careful they are and, 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 and proprietary they are with those characters and those storylines. And it wouldn't be something, oh, isn't that kind of a stunt casting kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It would be something kind of unique and, and obscure and, and creative and... I'm all in. Would you, if given the choice to play Walter White again as the kingpin, as the man who knocks, the one who is the danger, or the teacher before the diagnosis, which one would you prefer? I love Better Call Saul, and I don't want to get into the background of sure. it. I don't even want to talk about mm -hmm. the producing entity of it. I have an opportunity to direct an episode of Saul, and I'm debating whether I want to or not because mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the show. Yes. And in order to direct, I need to know what no fan knows. I need to go back and they'll mm -hmm. tell me, here's what's going to happen sure. here's in the leading up to the episode. And there's a part of me that says, oh, I don't, that would kind of kill it for me as a fan yes. to, to, be, to peek behind the curtain. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if I am or not. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.